Hi, this is Alan, Dennis Elba Classroom, with part two of Smashing the Inflammation Man, about why you can give up the fight if you're still chasing, treating, and worrying about inflammation. Here's the medical research quotes I promised in part one. This is from a paper called Lateral Tennis Elbow. Is there any science out there? As orthopedic surgeons, we're besieged by myths that guide our treatment of lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow. The term epicondylitis suggests an inflammatory cause. However, in all but one publication examining pathologic specimens, no evidence of acute or chronic inflammation is found. And here's another from a paper entitled Time to Abandon the Tendinitis Myth from the British Medical Journal. Most currently practicing general practitioners were taught, and many still believe, that patients who present with overuse tendinitis have a largely inflammatory condition and will benefit from anti-inflammatory medication. Unfortunately, this dogma is deeply entrenched. 10 of 11 readily available sports medicine texts specifically recommend non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs despite the lack of a biological rationale or clinical evidence for this approach. Instead, what's usually going on is a sneaky degeneration process. Quoting now from a paper in the Physician in Sports Medicine, numerous investigators worldwide have shown that the pathology underlying these conditions is tendinosis or collagen degeneration. One factor that may interfere with optimal treatment is that common tendinopathies like tennis elbow may be mislabeled as tendinitis. An increasing body of evidence supports the notion that these overuse tendon conditions do not involve inflammation. So why are most tennis elbow sufferers still taught to chase and fight inflammation, still encouraged to ice, still told to take ridiculous amounts of anti-inflammatories, and still expected to resort to painful and potentially damaging cortisone shots. Probably because they still relieve pain, whether that pain is caused by inflammation or not, and the facts have yet to overcome the prevailing belief system. Regardless of why though, the bottom line here is that inflammation is a normal and necessary part of your healing process. Quoting the medical textbook, Tendon Injuries, Basic Science, and Clinical Medicine, in normal tissue healing, inflammation plays an important role in this complex dynamic process. In this context, inflammation is often defined as a normally occurring, localized protective response. In conclusion, as I said in part one, you can take the inflammation fighting approach and return for short-term pain relief if you want but the potential, you know, at the potential cost of a longer, harder road to recovery. Because if you succeed in completely suppressing what little inflammation might actually be there, you may inadvertently slow or even stop your healing process altogether. On the other hand, you could make your peace with inflammation and allow it or maybe even encourage it in return for better, faster healing and long-term relief. This is Alan, your tennis elbow tutor. And you can learn more about tennis elbow, about tendinosis, the real underlying problem, and about how to treat it here at tenniselbowclassroom.com.